Vice presidential debate between Mike Pence and Kamala Harris dominating the network and cable ratings and doing over 50 million viewers. AW Dynamite and NXT ratings both fell on Wednesday. Dynamite, 753,000 viewers on TNT, down 13% from last week. NXT down almost the exact same percentage, 639,000 viewers, down 12.7% from last week. Lowest viewership since July 8, 18 to 49, Dynamite 0.31 rating, finished 19th on cable in that category. So, despite what I have been accused of on the board, I, in fact, never said that Dynamite was number one if you just took out 18 other shows. <laughs> but the point that I did make was, the point that I did make was, they were beaten by 16 debate-related shows and two ML games, MLB games. That's it. So in terms of, like, entertainment, and it is true, if you take out the news shows and baseball, they were the highest-ranked thing on cable television. That's true. So <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying that they're number one. You just have to take out 18 other shows. I'm merely pointing out that the only things that beat them were debate-related programming and MLB. All of those other entertainment shows were ranked below Dynamite. That's very good. Going up against a debate that did a combined 50.5 million viewers. So there you go. Still got a long way to go, though, before they become the longest-running episodic sports entertainment show on TNT. Thunder still has that for right now. Wow. Well, hopefully that record can be broken. They've announced Takaru Shida versus Big Swole for the women's title on Dynamite. This coming Wednesday. So we will have the AW World title, the tag team titles, the TNT title, and the women's title all on the line this coming Wednesday. And there will not be a debate, nor will there be strong sports competition. So that is going to be a very interesting number to look at right there. And uh, we've also got Ridge Holland. We don't have an update on how long he'll be out of action, but... He suffered a right knee patellar dislocation, patellar tendon rupture, a left ankle, ankle dislocation, and a left ankle fracture. Jesus. Already had surgery, so he's already on the comeback trail, but I don't know how long it's going to be. That's bad, obviously. Yeah. It looked like multiple injuries. I mean, that was for sure. It's like it And was by the way, did you of... listen carefully, Mike, Are those four what? injuries? Yeah. The ankle dislocation and fracture was on the left and the knee patellar dislocation and tendon rupture was on the right. Brutal. He destroyed both of his legs. Both. Yes. It, it like I said, it looked yesterday, it looked like multiple injuries. It was just a matter of what. And I thought it was one leg and it ends up being both. And it's painful both. <laughs> it's it just I am I I'm blown away. I am feel very, very sorry for Rich Holland. Uh, you know. Uh, again, one of those injuries of those four would have been bad enough, especially as you're beginning to get pushed and are going to be in a main event level angle against Adam Cole, where he was going to not only be in the spotlight, he was going to learn, you know, and his, his wrestling IQ was going to go up exponentially. I would have assumed being around those guys and to now have to take this kind of time off. It's just, it's awful. And I feel bad for NXT in general that had, again, with Karrion Cross and now with him going out, you know, I don't, obviously NXT, I, they're going to be factored into the draft, whether officially or not, something is going to end up happening with them. I just, I cannot believe that it won't. And this is a perfect time to try to get some sort of heel down there to try to make some sort of impact. Person wants to know, I'm concerned that the spider is joining forces with the fly managed by Mike Pence. You know, what's funny about my last trip to the beach. What's that? The previous time that I was there, the internet cable had been cut by people doing construction upstairs. And so basically me and this dude tore out a wall and we went in to try to find the other end of the cable, which ended up being severed. But the point is, an entire wall was removed, which is, is later going to be fixed. But as, as of right now, there's still no wall. So 
It's like full access to all of the stuff in the attic, all of the insulation, all of the whatever. Okay, so there's a giant hole in the wall that you can get in and there's all this insulation and stuff. Gordon. I thought for sure that because of that I was going to show up and there would just be spiders and bugs and everything everywhere. Nothing. I think that by tearing out that hole in the wall, all the spiders and everything climbed in there to just chill out in the insulation and they stayed out of my room. So I don't want him to close that wall back up. This person here says. <laughs> you right over there, buddy? <laughs> Maybe transported to a local medical facility here on the air? <laughs> you laugh, but I, I, I have evidence. There were no spiders. I have a theory. That's what science is all about, Mike. Well, you never give up, so I can... Damn I can right I never gave up. I went right back theory. up there into that attic where I was Actually, attacked by spiders wait last time. Wait a second. Time. You did give up. No, Why I didn't. haven't you put that wall back up yet? Because the wall's staying down. Because eventually they're going to go up there and they're going to remodel the upstairs. I leaned the wall back up, but when I was gone, it fell back down again. I know it's what? no spider, so it was like, I'm going to leave the wall down. What you have? What, what are your your walls made out of the same thing they used to have in the Batman show in the sixties? Well, you hit yeah. A button, given the how given flips. how old the condo is, I mean, that's probably what it was made of. <laughs>